And people can find out the tour dates around the globe at Megadeth.com. Death yep. with an E, ladies and gentlemen. Megadeth.com. Dave Mustaine uh, joins us, ladies and gentlemen, and we're very honored to have him. Uh, Dave, getting back into the whole global system, the whole new world order, in a nutshell, if, if, if you feel like it, give us your worldview on the power structure. Your, you say you've been doing a lot of research on it and where you believe the planet is going and what the end game really is. Well, that's a, a heavy question there to, to do all that. Um, I'll try my best. Um, okay, I was brought up <clears throat> as a little kid. I got baptized at four as a Lutheran, and then I was brought up as a Jehovah's Witness. And then um, I re revolted and got into witchcraft and black magic and then um, spent subsequent almost dozen years uh, or, or, the you know, the the following 12 years or so, trying to um, get rid of the demonic oppression I got by putting hexes on people. And then I became a Christian. So, <clears throat> I mean, I've been brought up around uh, so much different religiosity. I'm kind of like civil, you know what I mean? And um, when it comes down to me thinking about how things are going towards the end, um, I have a very distorted view of it because I've been... Uh, uh, brainwashed by the Jehovah's Witnesses. So, you know, when Christmas time comes around, I'm thinking, well, geez, what's the tree? What's all this crap? So, um, anyways, when it comes down to what my understanding is, is that there's going to be a final war at the end, and, and the whole way that the Antichrist plays out, and, uh, this may alienate some of your listeners and stuff. I don't mean to make anybody feel bad or alienate. You're allowed to have your view. Tell us. Right, right. Um, it, it's a the problem is that I just am cautious about this, Alex, because there's so many people that say that they're Christian, and they come off telling people that they're not doing stuff right. And I don't want to do that because I'm, I'm a different kind of person. No, but we want to know your view. You're not preaching. Tell us. Right. Okay, good. I just need to say that because I, I just don't want to miss out. No, it's an important preface. So, it's a, it's so um, uh, what, what I think right now, I'm watching the president, what you just said about him becoming the president of the U.N., and I'm um, watching all these other things happen, like to say that one of the prophecies that came true in the Bible came from uh, when Israel became a country again. And um, that was a prophecy. It was said that Israel would become a nation again. Well, it's a nation again. That happened back in the 60s, but it happened. So, um, you know, my belief is that there's going to be a new world order. There's going to be uh, one guy that's going to run the world. There's going to be one currency that's around everywhere. They're going to try and get you to take the RFID chip. That's the mark of the beast that they're going to use to buy and sell things. And then it's like you had brought up so so brilliantly in your movie about Rockefeller, saying that if they don't like you, they're just going to turn your chip off. Absolutely. So, I mean, all of this stuff is, is mind-boggling because you don't really hear about all the technology and stuff like that in the Bible, but the Bible is the basic text I try and live my life by. And I still have a dirty mouth, and I still I still um, look at women and, and have kind of terrible thoughts sometimes. But you know, hey, you're as, not like, a Pharisee. I mean, yeah, look who I mean, Jesus hung yeah. out with. He didn't hang out with the Pharisees saying how, how great they were. He right. hung out with people who were trying to have a pure heart. You know, right. I mean, look at David. Look at David. You know, had people killed so he could have their women, but yeah. he repented, and so God said, that is a man after my own heart. Right. Well, I, I just don't want people to try and find holes in what I'm saying because, you know, they've heard me say something in the past that was terrible, and, and I, I know I've done that. That's one of the things that I'm working on with the whole Slayer tour is that, you know, 19 years ago, 19 years ago, Alex, um, I said something, but people are still holding on to it, and they keep bringing it up, and it keeps uh, causing problems uh, with me and with the guys in Slayer. Bottom line is I don't feel that way anymore, and and uh, I think that this, this is going to be a great opportunity for me to go into an area where, you know, there's a lot of people that, that cast aspersions and say all kinds of terrible stuff about heavy metal and the people in it. Um, yeah, there are people in it that, that are terrible, but I'm not. And I think that... Um, what well, it's we very diverse, but Dave, Dave, I interrupted you when, you're, when you were getting into your worldview. What do you think about the rapture? Because I've read the Old Testament, and it clearly says the beast will wage war against the saints and overcome them. How overall raptured out beforehand... Can the beast wage war? How can he force people to take chips if everybody's submitting? And this is only a 150-year-old, 140-year-old doctrine of the pre-rapture. And so because everybody believes, I talk to these phony Christians, they won't fight any evil. They say, praise God, it's getting more evil. That means I'll be teleported out. I don't think Captain Kirk is going to teleport them <laughs> off the surface. <laughs> well, I, I don't believe in the rapture. I don't know enough about it to even know what it is. And the fact that, you know, all of a sudden you know, um, I'm going to be here and then I'm going to be someplace else. I, my understanding is, is that I'm going to be witness to, you know, the 
our great Armageddon. So, um, you know, it, I, I don't know this particular part because that's a little bit more cerebral than I've gotten into it because I've only been a Christian for a little while, but it's certainly good fodder. Well, that's amazing. Uh, you know, I will tell you, I grew up in Dallas and saw a lot of occult stuff, and it was like an occult empire. I never really got into it, but, you know, I'd date this super good-looking girl who was a couple years older than me and, uh, you know, and go to her, her parents' house, giant mansion, and find out they were Satanist. And I would oh. go out, I would go out with this, you know, super hot chick and find out they were Satanist, and I'd be taken to a party. And there'd be police there, and, it, and, I'd, and I would get in, I would get my car and leave, and then they all got mad at me. The cops started pulling me over, you know, because I was wild and you know mean and beat the hell out of people, and I guess came off as satanic, and, and but I wasn't because I have love in my heart. But 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 but, but I think seeing evil and not being perfect and then changing allows you to understand things and have discernment that people that have had a sheltered life or never experienced the power of the satanic empire. I believe that once you've been a little bit on the other side of it, it almost gives you an advantage because now I've been on both sides of the coin. Right. And that's basically what, what I was saying in the beginning about being able to have the credentials to, to talk to uh, these fans, to be able to, you know, to meet them where they're at. You know, there's nothing worse than being lectured to. Uh, you know, if, if someone wants to, to know something, you know, as human beings, we have uh, most of us, when we're curious about something, you know, they can take it to, to they can get unhuman strength and, and, and be able to sit up for hours studying things, you know, if they're interested in it. You know, for me, if I'm not interested in it, I can be asleep within 30 seconds. So, uh, but because you've been into the occult, you can actually, if people ask you, explain, this wasn't fun for me, and they wouldn't listen to some preacher, but they'd listen to Dave Mustaine of Megadeth. Yeah, they would. And and that's the great thing about all of this, because I'm not misusing my, my celebrity to to tell people what to do. Um, we've always been really uh, supportive of encouraging people to, to, to read. That's why I've tried to use words more than baby, baby in my songs. And that's why <laughs> we've had stuff that's been really provocative, stuff that really encourages our listeners to, to stay in school and to, to do something good to become great. Well, Dave, uh, I mean, this is incredibly powerful. Uh, what, you're, what you're saying here today, and I know you're going to be a really great... Uh, vessel for waking people up but you say you've just now recently become a christian i think god's seal the creator of the universe's seal was on your heart from the beginning because the fruits you were the only heavy metal band that really didn't have that satanism running through it and and everything you've done really was speaking against that system and you said you didn't even understand what you were writing at the time i think you were one of the lost were always meant to be but not in the well thanks i i felt that there was uh there was a I don't practice Alec to learn the songs again. How that happened, it just played guitar with her, and I thought, absolutely, anything to drown out that noise. <laughs> and um, <laughs> I started learning how to play guitar, and, and uh, you know, the, I, I would put it down, and I wouldn't even look at it. I, I've lived in this new apartment here since my wife and I are separated. I've been here for almost a month. There's a guitar here. I haven't touched it. And it, it's really weird because, you know, you would think that, that it would be something that would be an extension of my, my body, you know. Well, I mean, I, I think you're such a natural and that it's something that you pick up when you, you know, go out there to perform and, uh, just let it flow through you. We've got a final segment with Dave Mustaine. I know he's got some other stuff coming up. We'll see if I can twist his arm into five, ten minutes more because I want to be able to play a few more clips of his songs. But if he's got to leave us, uh, at, in about ten minutes, I would imagine, Dave, that, uh, you'll join us again when you get back from Australia. I would love to do that. Amazing. Again, megadeath.com, Dave Mustaine. We have links to it up on infowars.com. The album is out. Number one record in the country. Out of the gates right now on amazon.com. People.